welcome. It's a fantastic pleasure to welcome so many people here. So cybersecurity is always facing new issues because technology never stops advancing. We always get new stuff coming along. I think in today's conference that was made really clear in a talk by Kenny Patterson. It really illustrated to me that the interface between academics and industry can work well in, in both ways. So there's a worldwide effort underway now to try to develop new kinds of cryptography that resist the power of quantum computation. But we're still really in the kind of research phase of trying to understand what we can and can't do in that domain. And I think this is creating really interesting challenges. And there's some great research going on at the University of Birmingham on that specific problem. Uh, so my name's Andrew House. I'm a professor and head of the School of Computer Science. Yeah, I think the conference is fantastic. Really high quality talks, very impressive presentations. They show that cybersecurity is clearly a very current issue and one that uh, academia can, can contribute to. Professor Karen Young gave, I thought, a superb talk and, and put the need to understand democratic oversight for cybersecurity uh, in context. That's extremely important. I thought that was a very well made point. So my research considers the social and constitutional implications of networked computational systems and I'm concerned with governing those in a responsible, democratic and ethical manner. It's unusual for me to be at a conference that's full of computer scientists rather than lawyers and I'm finding it really fascinating getting a better sense of what computer scientists actually do and understanding how they think and how it is that their particular methods have direct relevance in society. My research involves designing the protocols which things like smart cards and bank payment cards use and apps use. So a big new threat is the huge number of devices we have, all of which have a lot of our personal data on them and some of which we don't even know about. The number of devices we need to secure is growing massively and making the problem much harder to solve. We went through a huge advent in technological disruption. So we actually created new ways of working and transformed so many different industries. But the problem is some of these systems are around for decades. So now we've got to think about how we secure them for the future. So I think that university and industry collaboration is really, really important. Uh, bringing together the intellectual and academic ability of universities with the real world challenges being faced by industry. The success I see from the collaboration is a classic, bringing academia together with it being applied for real, with real benefits, in my case, for customers that need our service. Now how to achieve that, it's hard because, you know, everyone is always pressed for time, academics have their agenda, industry has its own, and, and trying to get the two to mix uh, can be really difficult. But um, events like this where we invited people both from academia and from industry and get people talking to each other, that, that can only help.